day. Carrigan's tweet demonstrating his mindset after that one. But we are into the action. I kind of like the new setup. Worth mentioning the doors have swapped around if you have been disconnecting in the same way the players have from Counter-Strike. Dust 2 doors reversed. Oh. Chad got his way. Took a lot, but we got there. Couple of years. It's all right. Someone made a map with all of his examples and it seemed that that was enough. <laughs> <laughs> Push them over. But yes, gathering up towards short. Rather standard start here. It's Nico that might find the early info. The smoke. Well, they fluffed it. And the jump. This is the frag he needs, and he's got it. Huge from KNG. Brokey all the way from B contributing. So stylish an approach, too. But Brokey oh. still stands here, but they're being pinned. Cold Zera is tucked in the corner. But Brokey's the one showing everything right now. Support comes in at just the right time. Cold Zera plays it out from the corner so, so well. And it's Brokey had a great game before. And now he's just started off on a high note. Three kills for the man. That's lovely. Absolutely fantastic. I, I want to make some quick notes because maybe FaZe have changed things up, but previously on a map like this, Nico actually does the lion's share of the orping duties. He's over towards that A bomb site, and I'm talking about the CT side. When we flick on over to the T side, you'll see Brokey pick it up a little bit more. But Nico uh, uses it to play the A ramp position, obviously helping out long, floating around. And Cold Zera on the CT side actually used to pick it up a little bit more. I'm not sure if that's changed now that the doors are swapped around. But we'll have to wait and see. So up close and personal towards the tunnels in case of a rush is Brokey with that Famous. Cold Zero in the site supporting with the MP9. Smoke over towards Dark now. And in lower Dark is where the T's reside. We've got over towards top of mid, Fur on the Scout. Going to poke and prod, make sure that nobody's going for any early info. And this looks like they could set up a mid to B quite easily here. Yeah, it didn't work well for them in the pistol. But now with armored deagles, it could be a different story. More utility as well to be thrown around. Okay, so they've feigned cat control. It's going to keep the CTs at A on notice. There's been no noise over towards long. Upper tunnels has been dead silent. They're just going to creep out mid behind Fur's scout here. Maybe they set him up for a window pick. Fallen's before. lining up something. Is that mid? Yeah, that's the mid cross smokes. They're coming. Cold knows it. A flash and a fight. I can't believe he's up for it. Yeah, he's got the MP9 and he didn't expect KNG so fast. Brokey's desperately trying to hide from the flank. They're all into B. He has cleared out the first two. He's done well to survive. KNG wants him. SMG on his back. He's not opted to reload. He just wants to hunt. Numbers favoring phase for the retake. I don't see a single kit, so they're going to have to be quick about it or make the executive decision to save. This is Dust2 after all, a hard site to retake. They're coming. What do they have? There's one flash to set this all into motion. Rookie to bait, I'd imagine. See the trace there. Here we go. Nicely done, Tarko. Still holds on time. to Nico, and time, as you said, is ticking. Get on the damage it. is being done, but there's still one standing. Tarko's just buying time, and Rain has run out of it. MIBR closing out so well, and Tarko, yeah, the numbers weren't there with him, but he just played that perfectly. Ooh, that's not the way that FaZe were looking to kick off this map right here. The force by working out for MIBR, and I thought Brokey had done enough there, making sure he maintained his life giving them the number advantage. The retake well, not working out, and it felt like there was a bit of uh, wobbles in the comms. You can see Rain running back, running forth, looking towards mid doors. Oh, I've got the flash. Yep, all right, everyone else is going to be set on up there. So it's a huge round to win if you are MIBR, and the force by in response will come back out. So Rain has the silenced M4, which he's been able to carry across. Nico on a scout, Brokey on a scout of his own. Deagles for Cold Zero and Kyobi. This is still a deadly bite. Oh. That's a great start. Yeah, Rain on Dust2. It's time to remind you about what he has done in the past on this map. It's one of his most comfortable CT sides. I think he even got close to the fragging record, set it at one point on this very map in a half. Yeah, Kirby really has just been plugged into the positions of well, the fifth that filled this team before him. It looks like he will be the long anchor. A very active role, but a very important role. You can see now MIBR with the man disadvantage. Having to take cat control, but very, very quiet. Not making too much noise. Not throwing too many grenades. And sound cues. And that will keep the CTs guessing. They're coming towards the only M4. Same smokes that previously Cold's going to get the info. I love that. He can tuck into the corner. Say, get ready, Rain. It's about to get messy. 
Niku can provide some support. More than that, a great shot. And a tag as well into another. Reigns lined him up. He's knocked him down. It's all three. Make it four for Reign at the end of that one. The only M4 in play. And he pulls it over the line for FaZe Clan. Gonna get Brawly, Lauren. I hope you strap yourself in. I haven't got a seat belt, but I'll do my best. I'll hold on. Well, these are kind of like tyres, these chairs. So. This is lovely, though, from Reign. I mean, you, it's nice to have Nico supporting you, softening him up. Couple of tags I'm here and there, sure couple Rain of frags. gets another if he doesn't hit that scout shot. Spot on. Banging. So, kind of uh, swinging round about as we do. T side down on the Deagle's armor though. Forced by completely. Flashes. Yeah, they're uh, they're behind it. Smokes are in and they're going up short. There's, it's not too much about it. We do have the playthrough underpass for KNG, just down in towards uh, the dark side of things, but heading up towards A, Nico. Can't watch that. Oh, okay. What? That's a great shot from Taco. And if he hits another, the site is there. As KNG's done that for him, wow. he's actually found two in middle. Oh, wow. Kirby yet to find a frag. He's now got four people hunting him down. Great shots onto the first two. He's playing aimbots. They're putting their head straight into his line of sight. He has got a real shot at this. He needs his teammate to start closing that gap. If that incendiary forces the fight, he's in a really good spot. It oh. is burning TRK. Keeping it level. KNG's only got a scrap of health in CT. Still makes the scout work, though. And Cold Zera plays it perfectly. Should... What? Oh, what? Blind. Gets him, though. And now Warlock attack go, and he hits the shot. That's spectacular. What a round. You said it was going to get Brawly, Chad. There's a perfect example. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened with TRK just there. I didn't think the Molotov was deep enough to get him all the way back at Goose. But I he... have a theory. Yeah. I think if, you know, when you get hit by the incendiary, sometimes you just kind Slows of end up, a you bit. get stuck by the nade hitting you. I don't know if we'll get to see it from the uh, the bird's eye view, but nice that's shot, the open Taco. Up. Let's see how he gets this second one, because he's so screwed. Oh. No, he wasn't. What a shot. Kenji had three in that round, and Taco obviously had the fourth there. Oh, that peak from Taco, it's so harmless in his mind, and only Cold's hitting that shot with the MP9 at that rate. I can't even blame him for it, really. No, you can't? I mean, obviously in hindsight, you're like, well, I shouldn't have peaked it, but let's be yeah, honest yeah, exactly. here. Let's be honest. That's, that's, that's the heights you can reach. But 3-1 being the score right now. MIBR still clawing at this one, still keeping it dangerous, and the pace isn't going to slow down. We wanted a brawl and we're getting one. Blood is all over the floor right now, and these two are taking lumps out of each other. Lump. What a nasty word lump is. Mm. Let's see if Nico find anything here. He is in the right place and certainly the right time. That's fallen. Just as the smoke fades, he can convert. The advantage likely to be extended. They have full commit and flashbangs. It doesn't matter. Nico pulls the trigger onto TRK. Okay, well, I don't think we'll see MIBR forced by in the following unless they can get two or three more frags and keep the CT economy low here. Kirby dancing around the smoke. I have an idea. He's over towards this car position. Might get isolated. Another great shot from Taco. Three frags from Nico. He's on for the ace, and they are coming into his domain. Looking for number four, and why not? Let's put a bow on it. Nico wraps up the round. A solo adventure to pull home number four for FaZe Clan. Now the eco, right, Chad? Now he it, can it should be. <laughs> I, and I think the reason they went for that uh, force buy... KNG's got... He did have an extra cash, so they'll go for okay. the hero AK. This is still just to keep the economy kind of level. Yeah. You don't want to let the CTs start to build up against a completely free round. But look, I understand the call. We always talk about it here on the desk, right? We're like, yeah, you know, it's so tempting to go for. And Fallen's obviously, with the spawns that have been dealt their way, made those type of plays. Ooh, Rain's gone for a walk. He's going to be dangerous. That nade is going to do a lick of damage to Fur, but he's made it into lower tunnels. They're well aware. I like this. Should be a clean up. Rain oh. on it, boys. No worries. Gets the rifle for it, too. It could have gone better for him. Yeah, what an upgrade. Gets himself $1,800, injected into his account, and then grabs himself an AK for free. Top of middle, uh, duking it out. Rain's already found another Might one. Might get it's an like ace. Taking it in turns for the ace, ah. Brokey. You cheeky, cheeky boy. He steals it from his teammate right behind him. That might keep the comms playful for FaZe Clan. Likely a good a component in their victories. But it is time for them to once again face the wrath of the full buy. Won't necessarily see the AWP. We are getting a glass cannon fallen AWP now. That's an exciting prospect. He is 006, so let's see if he can avoid that James Bond scoreline. We're into our seventh round. Oh, mid control smokes here. You can see the deep one over towards Cat to obscure vision one towards long as well. But MIBR, they just want to 
go down that mid corridor, jumping with the bomb along the ledge. They get this very quickly. You see the smoke I'm talking about just here? If the CTs want to play in front of that, when the molly comes in, well, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. But it is just a feign control. This looks like a fast mid to be. Oh, an eco. Knows his job, but as the smoke blooms, they start to spray. And now Nico's gone to fight another day. Brokey and Coldzera in defense of B. Do they have paranoia about the tunnels? The incendiary's gone now. He has to deal with both, and they have. Taco up on the boxes. Brokey's going to go down to the trade cut. Oh, oh. oh, bullets. He needed just one more. Taco falls, and so do MIBR. Six to one. FaZe have put up quite the defense so far. So MIBR won't have a full gun round in this game until round number 10. Because of that, again, all of That's the gamble, right? That's the gamble of when you go for those force buys within the early stages of a game. It's a cruel mistress, right? If it pays off, you look like a genius. The CTs are broken. They're in a really, really rough spot. But you can see here, we're already in round number eight. They've gone for yet another partial. Next round, they, go, they get the max loss bonus, right? So they have the 3,400 coming and it's going to be enough to buy. But that will be the first full gun round for all five members on MIBR 10 rounds into the game. Glad you're here, Chad, with the Abacus. Keeping track of all of those macro decisions made by in-game leader Fallen. Oh. <laughs> Say his name and he will be apparently murdered. Uh, all for free. Brokey's not going to move from this. Sticks it out. The grey wall as the bodies pour through. He's beating himself. Does get absolutely uh, pantsed in the end, but KNG going to have to do something real dirty here. Doing the dance? Yeah, he says no. Uh, two kills? I mean, sure. But gun round, right? That's the big story here, Chad. We finally get to see the boys with a little bit more bang to their buck. Yeah, and a timeout to boot. So Fallen has enough money to go for the orb. So does KNG. They could even get it up with armor. Funny that. That'd be nice to see. But Fallen, zero ADR. Ooh, ooh. Zero ADR. Very rare to see that bar completely empty. What? Looks like a bug. How can oh, confirm? And they normally have six legs. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! You clearly are ready for children. I am very ready for children. Uh, oh, just goodness. unfortunately very single. So ladies, not really on the cards. Ladies, I'm I'm sure. Obviously, have a little this surfer is baby. Where you should uh, be looking for the ladies in. Twitch chat. Yeah, no, no, that's not the one. <laughs> no, no, it's not, not the one. Look, you not. need a normie, a real person. Need a normie? Yeah, none of this. I don't know if they'd world. get me. Uh. We're all weird as hell. You don't want to put two gaming weirdos <laughs> into one relationship. That's madness. It's a four man oh. long lean here, and it won't be a long rush. So it'll work because they won't have to deal with any aggression early. FaZe Clan have just allowed Cold Zero to solo the B site with an AWP. Ooh, first getting both of them. I've got a feeling. Yep, Nico. Couldn't do anything. That's a real strong opener, and they want more. And they do find it. It's Rain looking to hold them at bay. He's got to deal with so much. Oh. The maddest of sprays. He lives to fight. Ooh, tucking into Elevator. Surely Rain can get more. He, can you just die? KNG finally confirms it. And Cold, if he gets the shot on the cross, but now completely obscured by smoke, I'm afraid this round is unobtainable. He wants to preserve that AWP at all costs. Nico, the way he lost his AWP is nasty, right? It's on your back. It's, you're holding your deagle. You're flashed in a corner. The utility usage and the first look of MIBR hitting that long side of the map has gone wonderfully. Nice kill for Fallen, too. Good point. He's got some ADR now. There we go. Unless it was bugged. <laughs> <laughs> it's such. It's, it's a shame, you know. I wanted to see how far. It, well, no, I didn't. I wanted Fallen to get on the board, but you know, you mm. you you're say in, it. You're mo you're morbidly curious. Yeah, because it's like, how long can this go on for? Yeah. Obviously, an AWP, right? You, it's a swing and a miss. It's like if uh, you, it's a one or a zero. It's binary. Precisely. So the fact that he's now able to convert, maybe the confidence will start going, following through. Lots of money, however. So the loss bonus. Oh, it's only going to be fourteen hundred for phase. So it's not a, a, a huge amount to be worried about, but they still can buy Nico with 10k. Cold Zero here, he saved his weapon, he doesn't have to worry about uh, going for any form of an upgrade. Will Nico go for an AWP again? That's a question. Now, this attack on Long, it was a second later than you'd normally expect, right? So all the CTs, the utility comes in, they think they're getting into position, and then, oh, we extinguish it, we go, and that's been catching people off guard quite a lot. They used to do that over towards the B-bomb site, we're seeing it towards Long a little bit more, a bit more risque. But it will be the double op setup yet again from FaZe Clan here. And they've gone back to the 2 3 split. As I say that, they've actually rotated Cold back towards the mid doors. So it's more of a 2 1 2. 
Nico prevalent towards short. These orbs wow. are very close by. That tag isn't bad at all. Well, the nade might have done a bit more, but Nico having to be quite swift in the way he approaches the fallback there. Doesn't want to outstay his welcome, but the T's kind of hampered in progress. They can't really springboard anywhere until these smokes and everything else gets ripped away. Here comes a little bit of, hey, look, we might be considering mid, but we can see it. It's all looking towards B at this point. Four players leaving just one towards those double doors, which is K and G. They have to get their timing right here, because if Brokey was to flash rain for info mid, they could be back on B by the time these smokes start to pop. And they're going now. What's the reaction? What is the reaction? They don't know. Brokey doesn't know. Frags is a start. He's going to flash his way in far from behind. Does manage to catch him actually from the B site itself. Brokey in, catches another. Good shots being hit by FaZe Clan. They're keeping it competitive and stopping that bomb plant to priority, but he just surely can't do it on his own. The rotate, it's slow. Waiting for Cold Zera. Two orps for the retake is just not realistic. They need to find something for one of these at least. Two tucked on the side, Cold Zera and Kierby working through the B tunnels now. Gonna be fallen facing that way. Nico about to spring in. Here we go. Those final bits of utility. Nico just didn't see it. Oh, he didn't see it. Fallen finds him and now 2v2. You're gonna have Kierby in there, but it's Taco it to try and hold. I think they've got that. Running as fast as their little legs can carry them. Kierby gets to it just just in the nick oh. of time. Whoa, what a retake. Not easy with two orps, and FaZe do manage to handle it with a degree of composure. The plant and the loss bonus in MIBR's favor means another buy will be coming on the board just here. Now, you need to see if they're going to be getting more of a long spawn. You've seen those mid-control smokes come out, one on Xbox, one towards Deep Cat, and then they're doing the long corner smoke. They're using quite a lot and very, very early. I don't know if they want to go for a bit of a pace change. We've seen quite the uh, attacks on the B site. This time around, it will just be the single orb still. So not wanting to bring out the double orb on the CT side, but there's contact on long. Worked for them once. Let's see if it can work for them again. Nico under threat as well. Taco. Got a lovely angle over the smoke, and KNG does deal with Kyobi's new position. He is that long anchor, and for now, made to look like a bit of a something else. <laughs> Got rain on the way over, though, which is. Must feel pretty good because he's been having a nice game so far. Made a little bit of faith on that, but Nico needs to stay focused on towards short. But timing's of the essence, and Taco's timing is just to, to perfection. The trade comes in, but now the T's are going to be flooding from long. Oh. All these flashes, everything Nico's got, he turns it. He gets one. Kanji's down. Oh, oh the. Oh, enough of a tag, but the frag evades him. Yeah, lovely. No scope. He's going to dunk on fur. Bonk. And that is a difficult spot to be in. Now dropping. Phase, they are bringing some ferocity. Nice, makes sense to upgrade to the M4. Flash for Brokey, swing on ramp, and Bob's your uncle. He doesn't respect it, doesn't need to. They have to fake it out here. He's going for the commit. Fallen checking for the jump up. You know there's one short, anticipating the other. This is going to be a headshot angle. Mm, and that's the headshot for the angle. Now all onto TRK. Tucks in on Gandalf. Does need a little magic here. Brokey knows the spray isn't good enough. Brokey, he has been such a clutch factor for FaZe Clan. What a pickup this Latvian is. And now nine for FaZe Clan with, what is that for Brokey? That must be closing in on 20. Where is he? Brain struggling to read. 16, there it is. 16, he is on his way. 140 ADR. Yeah, I want to credit that to Nico though. The fact that he did that damage facilitated the grenade kill and the fact that he got two under pressure in that situation was fantastic stuff. And while well, the spray got a little bit wild toward the end there from both TRK and Brokey, but at this point, with such a commanding lead on the CT side of Dust2, FaZe Clan, they're looking poised here. Map one of Train, well, I think they've forgotten about that one. They've really turned it on since Inferno's woes and wobbles. Looks quite pacey though here, Alex. It looks like they just go straight through middle it. Kirby? Uh, Hello? What does uh, Fallen up to? Excuse me, Fallen? He's just cracked them in half. Left to just watch as this all falls apart in front of them. This pace, it's unparalleled. They had no idea what was coming their way. <laughs> what a, a fantastic contrast to the last, Weird. what, 12 rounds, excuse me, 11 rounds of play. I mean, that's something we see Nico do, right? Like the charge down middle when nothing else is working. This time, Fallen's done it with an AWP. I don't know how he didn't hear the four Ts, like bulls in a china shop, just running straight down the guts of middle. I, I just watched it back a little bit, and Kyobi's seen the mid-door smoke, and then he's running back turned across middle, 
Mm. It's picked out of the air, and that's all she wrote. Yeah, I'm not sure Nico's holding on to this orb either. This is going to be a bit of a painful deathmatch session. Yeah, Fallen, he is continuing to run with it. Give him the ace, folks. Give it to him. Abriel, not going to be the one to find the final frag because oh. Coldzera is holding on to his M4 with every single bullet he can. Good damage, chips away at them. That's taken away one of the orbs. TRK does recover it though, but look at the damage, like straight up. MIBR, great, congrats on the win. But those two deaths on that hunt are gonna be a little unideal. Shot onto Kirby, moonwalking into the air. Oh dear, I'm not quite sure. Maybe the comms were quite loud at that point in the round. That is the only thing I can really put it down to. I just love the fact he was so ahead of where they even considered he could be. Wait. He was so out of their realm of possibility. Look at the ramifications. Yeah, Faze got peanuts. I didn't realize. Yeah, I suppose when that 1v1 from Brokey came through oh, within yeah. the previous, that it meant that the economy was bottomed on out. So MIBR are potentially putting themselves in a position here. Well, I would say definitely to grab four. And then what comes after that? Five or six. After the way this first half has gone, they're going to be happy with turning it around. This is good recovery mm -hmm. for MIBR here, potentially, obviously, if all goes to plan, which it should do. I don't see these being the rounds that they make a mistake from, especially when it's a B stack and most uh, likely is going to be an A ending. Pro Kierby left out to uh, potentially rot on this for the little bit of an error that was clearly made and exploited by Fallen being fallen, really. Um, so yeah, kind of going through the motions, and I like to see it. I'd rather than kind of take it seriously, ensure all safety is kept. Awkward flash, but they should be fine to get the bomb down any time soon. I'm all about safety, Lauren. You need to make sure you're wearing appropriate footwear at all times. Getting a bit sketchy here. Taco struggling to finish his frag. away at him further. Nice. Keeping things safe. Keeping those weapons all in their hearts. There it is. Okay. So four members of MIBR do weather the storm and that puts the fourth on the board. Bearing in mind that everything for the ESL1 Cologne journey for FaZe and MIBR floats and rests on this map. It's wild to me that we lose one of these two names. Obviously with context of the current day it's, it's different but they're tenured teams, right? Veterans, the the legacy they hold, it's it's built off of results and it's scary to see them in this predicament so early into a tournament, I guess. They'll be joining the graveyard with Mouse Sports, who went out today to Mad Lions 2-0. Heretics went down to Fnatic yesterday and were big, the number one team in the world during the online era. Were knocked out yesterday by the ninjas in pajamas. So it is another big name to be losing. You are bang on there. Cutthroat competition here in Cologne. Yeah, fresh out the player break as well. It's like whoever hits the ground running. Absolutely. A shot from KNG. That could very well translate into a B plant and a full save from FaZe. Unless Nico wants to go ahead and be the hero. We've got a molly and a smoke for the cross, so no options really for FaZe clan. It Thank does it. look like they're going to be heading for the save. It's the only option they have. TRK's weapon probably going to be picked up. Yeah, it has been. Kirby's hoovered that one up. Okay, so 9-6 is, is on the cards. We were talking about that within the first half of Inferno, just gone. Remember how close the second half got? There was a chance there for MIBR to take that one to overtime or maybe even sneak the win through. But there was some big clutches. We had the Nico one on two over towards the A bomb site, And maybe some more of that magic will be needed. <laughs> just kicking things around. Don't That's all right. Cool. Could you guys ever like to have a little flirtation with magic? You ever like get a magic kit for a, a gift or anything? Be that kid in school. Well, I, don't just, don't make assumptions, Lauren. I'm I was just saying you were selling don't, it don't to Don't you pick up that mirror straight away? I was throwing this towards both of you. Chad, you're included in this. Um, I like card tricks, but I never really got stuck. Have into one them. you mastered, like a little coin trick or something. I was a horrible bully at school. Oh, that okay. was just you'd have just been mocking. Yeah. I was one of the kids. Like my insecurities were very much projected oh. at others. Oh gosh, yeah, you know, it, and, wasn't, uh, it wasn't a good time for me, but it was worse for the kid doing magic. That's yeah. my MO, Lauren. <laughs> but you know what? Half the battle is uh, is admitting it. So for all of you listening at home, do keep, try and keep track of you that. grow up. Don't worry. Yeah. You know, identify it. And you're feeling it's bad. It's easier to project that bad feeling onto other people, maybe even on Twitter. We weren't actually going there, but that's a nice segue, Alex. Uh, be nice to each other. Ooh. Nothing nice about that, though. I think he was spotted as well. Definitely so. Fallen's going to get... Oh, okay. <sighs> 
these players are so damn good. It's actually ridiculous how good these guys are. Like, the shots they hit oh, blow my no. mind, and Kirby wants a bit of it. He's up for the fight with Fur, uh, but they're playing a very, very volatile, dangerous game over there. Might need to be a bit of a risk in the mid round here from FaZe or a multi kill needs to come on the cards because we have seen MIBR go for quite a few different looks here. Mid to B has been successful. Ooh, the smoke towards Cat. That's going to stall things out. Maybe indecision now from the Brazilian side. They have about 15 seconds to wait until that clears. So they can just posture with a minute left on the clock. There is no rush and they have the number advantage. But in these scenarios, CTs normally go for an aggressive play. And you can see that's going to happen. The flash is about to come for Rain. Oh, Rain set up for success, but only manages to find one. Kenji is right there, and Kenji's been very present this map. Yeah. As always in MIBR's successes, he has managed to manufacture a man advantage. Kirby, responsible for multi-kills, and he's got a good chance. He might even flash for another one. He wants another bite. Fakes it out, slows him down. 30 seconds, keep track of the time as well. A headshot angle adopted by him, and as they retreat, they walk straight into the jaws of Brokey. They're locked in. Cold Zera's turning the key. And now perhaps, oh my goodness, he's in such a tight spot. They're gonna check him. Oh. He's gonna get at least the first, oh. not the second TRK on Kiyabi, the two new additions. It's time to see who made the better pickup. Oh, 10 seconds. The cross is vital. The read's correct from Kiyabi. TRK, smoke down doesn't know it. Kiyabi knows everything. That's and now the bottom goes down. Kiyabi gets to be the execution. Continuing at ESL1 Cologne. Unfortunately, the dream is gonna end for one of them at the end of this half. Myself, Sponge, and Pansy, the voices of the broadcast. Fur tries a little heroic interception of the Xbox smoke, and we are off to the races, Lauren, with a bit of a charge down cap. Yeah, they're not slowing down at all. This is pacey, this is powerful. This is FaZe trying to set the tempo here. Straight up towards short, you already got Fur and TRK, though, keeping this in mind. Good flashes, Kenji, and backup. Whoa. Three to face, one to fall. So far, the T's led by Kirby are having huge impact. Yeah, and I don't know what Taka can do other than just shrug his shoulders and say, well, we'll get him next time, boys. Just a USP and a Kevlar vest. And five humans all locked on short, long, and that A site. He's just going to reside himself to keep hold of that armor, enabling him to perhaps have a bit more impact into the second round of this second half. Now, here comes a big problem for MIBR. One of the keys to the early stages of the first half of this game was the four spies. Now, it didn't pan out for them. We saw what it did. They ended up 7-1, 8-1, something ridiculous down before they were even getting guns in their hands. I think it was round 10 was the first time they had a full buy for all five members. But now they don't have the same buffer, the same luxury to work with. 11 rounds would be posted on the board here for FaZe. If they opt to go for a force by here and lose, that's going to be 13 almost guaranteed. And then we're at the real business end of this game. So decision time for MIBR. Do they want to stand and fight? Do they think that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best aimers in the world? And yes, they do. I see a scout see getting that. purchased on through. This is almost do or die right here. MIBR have to make this work. They have to make it expensive. Gosh, that is some real uh, intensity added to the second round of this right. map, or rather to this half. Let's see, it's a big and ballsy force, but it's up against AKs and good lils. I mean, I certainly would favor FaZe. Let's see if MIBR can convince us otherwise. I'm with you, but again, for MIBR, we give them so much room. We give them time to prove to us that that legacy has validity, and this is where it has to be. If you're gonna be gutsy, ballsy, brave, deliver, and cold Zera. What a better man to have against you to prove it as well. KNG, eyes trained on the gap. Are they aware? Are they not? We'll find out in a second as KNG not subtle about presence. But for now, the T's aren't making too many moves. They're going to try and get the lay of the land, it looks like. I think the cold being in hut there may have actually heard some of those footsteps falling on back. But he won't take a risk. His job is just to anchor that position. Meanwhile, the scouting party, Rain with Nico. Holding hands in the guise of the Xbox smoke will take short control. This is very standard so far. Kirby dealing with the tunnels push. Brokey overseeing mid. A very, very default round to start this one off. And knowing that they are up against scouts, they did hear it earlier in the round. They're well aware. They're still going with a cat play. This is where the scouts can be the most deadly. And KNG is trained with fur. Standard smokes. Maybe the Avangar smokes, if you will, gets them across. That nade looks destined for greatness here from Fur. Oh, a good chunk of damage. We've got oh, that rain gone. Brokey quick to pick up the pieces, though. Into the oh, okay. shot. My God, that's going to echo through MIBR's ears. They're not going to be happy with that. 
Nade again, good this time from the CTs. Oh, he is so good. He is turning into my favorite player so fast right now. Nico on cleanup duty gets the mop up. And TRK, that CZ is it. Oh, he's done. Cold's here for him. Watch this. Go on, Cold. Give it to him. No. Oh. So here's the problem. Look at the money right now on the MIBR side of things. Fallen saved a little bit of extra dollars. He's got 3,100 in the bank. That means they will be able to get the AWP out in the next round, but they will concede 13. They have to take a save. Force buying right now would just be insane. It would make no sense whatsoever. So you can see just a little bit of an upgrade, TRK. He's invested. Nobody else has bought anything just yet. And freeze time, it's ticking all the way down. It's just going to be the basic pistols. And you know Brokey has made the educated choice to pick himself up a Mac 10, the Mac Daddy, up against unarmored oh. Brazilians. He's going to be the first one in, I imagine. Nick like Nico will have a look. Hello. And goodbye. TRK eliminated. Fallen. Hamstrung. Trying to back away. Looking at the earliest and fastest round we've seen already. There's only one man left. We're at 90 seconds. KNG's about to jump into Kirby's crosshair. <laughs> Not as pretty. But still, the result, that's 13. So MIBR, they quickly get that one out of the way. But FaZe Clan, they're three rounds away from advancing in this lower bracket. I will remind you, this lower bracket will be brutal. MIBR certainly would prefer it to the alternative, but regardless. Well, they've come a long way to be here. The only team to uh, make the journey overseas for this one, currently in Serbia. Needing a bit of a European boot camp to come into Cologne. And while it looks like a fast B, all five members trucking through dark. This one's going to be quick. And here comes the pre-fire. Every bullet being thrown towards KNG's position. He still lives to fight another day. Looks like he may have flubbed the flash. He did. That's going to slow his team down as well. And now Cold can find him. They don't have to rush this plant. Utility integral here. Fallen's looking Fallen. for a fight. Pushing forward. Fallen's up for this. What are you doing? And the fire below. He's down to 20 HP. You can see how enamored by the idea of winning this out right now. It's just enticing them to take these so, so aggressive fights. But Rain, cool and calm as ever, calculated, puts down the bomb, hits the brakes. Says, we've got this for now, but look at Nico, Alex. Yeah, he is absolutely set for any sort of funny business from that tunnel's position. And it does look like MRBR are going to be not interested. Back in a way, preserving what little they can, but their options are getting more and more limited. We are staring down the barrel of 14. You're on the CT side of Dust2. That is no easy challenge. And their hopes and dreams of returning to glory in Cologne. What was it now? Three years ago? Yeah. My goodness. So much time has passed and it seems that many names have caught up to that throne. And you'll have to prove it once again if you want the respect of a world beater. That's almost a lifetime ago on Counter-Strike, three years. Just the last time the Brazilians were really was a relevant. person three years ago. Like, yeah. like straight up, like I'm living like an entirely different life. 100%. That's a Grow long up. period of right. time. That's enough know? to really become... Yeah, gosh. A and think about the year in the space yeah. of Counter-Strike, right? Not even just individuals, and it's absolutely insane. But the saved weapon Whoa. will... He's going. Look at Nico. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It's going oh, from bad hell. to worse. They're turning the screws, Alex. They want to make this hurt. That sort of pick. The 19-year-old just dying to get involved. Nico chomping at the bit. He really wants something, doesn't he? He wanted to get out mid. The flames will hold him back. That's another bit of util. Warning shots connecting into the elbows of KNG, but he can still operate his M4. He can't pick that weapon oh, he up. Can't. That's a sound cue. He's thinking cue. about it. Whoa! Nico, anything. He would have loved it. You could see him there. He was, he was ready to go through the molly almost, but no, he waited and he gets his just rewards. But now Taco, look how isolated he is. <laughs> I can't quite justify that one. Taco's going to be mad as hell. And TRK and Fur, unfortunately for them, are at the, uh, the business end of this game. This is game, right? This is game. Money. I mean, look, Chad, I'm I'm down for you to say that for anything other than a elimination final round yeah, of Yeah, shut up, Chad. Sorry, guys. It's not game. Here. It's not. Because clearly, MIBR are going to have one more chance. Hang in there, and I can just picture the cat. Oh, do you remember? What were they called? I can has cheeseburger. Before, like, the oh, internet existed God. properly. Keyboard, cat. I remember, like, thinking, yeah, that was, like, memes before memes. <laughs> or maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Chad's called it over. Throw in the towel. 
Chad thinks it all over. It isn't just yet. There is one more to go. This is it. This is what it comes down to. And if MIBR couldn't make it work in the proper rounds, there is a lot of credit to be put into what Chad says. And you know what? We're going to give it credit most of the time, but you give them the final shot. You give them everything they can give in this, because this is their life on the line now. Phase one away from winning this, moving forward, even if it's precarious, it's still a lifeline. Whereas MIBR, they're about to flatline. Yeah, absolutely. I can almost hear the ringing already. Dako about to be challenged. A great flash should enable the frag. He does get it. He's the expecting. Rayleigh really sneaks through for TRK. Wide on the swing. Gets the info. Taco so low. Does he have a nade? No. Cannot dunk. Can get away to preserve that bomb. Don't want to be losing that. KNG in the meantime does catch the B lurk. He'll be pushing for info and calling it clear. These are the two men that you want alive to close out the game. Cold Zira and Nico. Quite the duo. Quite the names. He's going to check the CT. I wonder if the timing favors him. Oh, it does. An MP9 dink does do damage. Nico softened up for TRK and KNG. This battle for survival continues in the last 60 seconds of play. Bomb will be oh, retrieved by Cold Zera. What's the timing with KNG like, Lauren? I think he's, he's going to be too late, I feel. Cold yeah. Zera's just slipped Suicide by. Suicide could be a threat. It could be. Oh, again, this timing, it's the finest of margins, a couple of seconds here and there. Oops. Keep mind of KNG, eyes on the mini-map for that one. See if he chooses long, does he cut back through middle? They saw Nico in middle, so that feels like the right choice. But by now, they're up short. They've already made a good path, they've tracked their way through, but it's precarious, it's dangerous, they don't know what we know. And just as time continues to tick here, KNG is getting closer. Second by second, the passes. He is creeping up and he ain't far now. Cold's aware. Cold's aware. He's got the bomb though. If Cold goes down, this is looking all so winnable. Nico, he hasn't got the time to be famine around. He has to start hunting for frags. Can he retrieve that bomb? KNG spotted. Plays the anti flash. Trying to survive. Upgrades to the AK. Can't find cover. Needs the shot. Nine seconds. It's KNG. He needed to do something for his squad and he has justified the salary there. Keeps MIBR's heads above water. And he even picked up the AWP, throwing that straight over to the in-game leader and captain of Fallen. He'll be putting that one in nice. his back pocket. And the buy right now, look, it's still not fantastic. Taco only has a Famous. He's only going to have a little bit of utility to go behind that, prioritizing the smoke to stop the B rush. On the other side of things, guns are plenty. All out for Brokey, 22 kills to his name. The AK's like they want them. And they can slow down the pace right here. That doesn't have to be quick. Oof, uh, this could be, you know, knife's edge moments for him. Two players towards the lower part of those B-holes. And just above, he's on shore. We haven't seen too much of that yet. It's dangerous territory. A lovely start. Ferg will neutralize one of the hardest hitters on the FaZe Clan roster. TRK, great angle, but traded again. Kirby contributes. PNG on a very fast flank here. This could have the element of surprise. Kirby is alone the with the bomb. He's going to do it again if Kirby does just uh. continue to pause. Yeah, that's the frag he needed. Looks like the seventh for MIBR, the long duo of Brokey and Cold Zera. Going to give it a good go. Fallen ratting around in the smoke. He's managed to slip straight by Brokey. No armor on him. Where's Cold Zera? Okay, starting to arrive up long now. Bomb defended by the CTs. There's a lot of time for this. Still 40 seconds, but it's just curious they haven't stuck together for the trade potential. Fallen CT in too short. Peculiar. Now, I like the Nico Cold Zera combo, but the way Brokey's been playing, I'm looking at this guy to do something. But they are guarding that bomb like their life depends on it. And funny enough, it does. Fallen finds Brokey. Cold Zera is going to have to dig deep, roll it back, do something exactly like that. Two kills and now the 1v1. Could you imagine a better moment up against Fallen? The man who brought him to the stage now might keep him from it. And the time, the bomb goes oh. in. Fallen's there just to the right. He misses. And oh. Cold Zera!